Hi everybody, this is Evelyn. I have two of these reads. Um, a lot of information has been coming through. A lot of light has been coming through. I just did a short meditation for you to see what was coming up. And I'm going to tell you what I saw first in this meditation. And then I'm going to get right into these two reads because a lot of very interesting information is coming through. If something um, I say doesn't make sense to you or you're not receiving it or resonating with it just allow the feelings to come up because there's a lot of stuff here that's going to trigger something in you you're going to expand differently than me so it's about expanding and expanding and expanding right so i get something from someone else and then i automatically expand and i guess part of what i'm teaching you to do is how to do the same from me i give you something and then you expand on it so it's not about get me giving you all the specific details of something, but triggering you into expanding into your own details. So what I just saw in my meditation. Um, oh, by the way, we had, I had a, a tremor this morning. I literally was posting my Instagram, uh, my star message Instagram. And if you read that, you'll see at the bottom of it, literally we were having the quake at the bottom of my message there. And my whole message was about the word mantles and how mantle, you know, all the different definitions of mantle, which Cope also came up as one of the definitions. So you can check out my Instagram about that. And so we had the quake this morning at um, 10, it was 10, 23 to 24, which is very significant because we're dealing with 2023 20, and 24, which I constantly bring up the 23 of the King of Wands and the 24 of the Queen of Wands, last year being all about clearing the distorted masculine ego and this year about clearing the distorted divine feminine ego. And so we had that quake this morning, right? Right after I talked about the mantle, at the bottom of that read, I we had a mantle <laughs> come in as, the, as a tremor from a quake that was about 50 miles from here. And I felt another tremor again uh, just before 6 o'clock tonight. So there's definitely some rumbling going on. But I definitely feel the rumbling that's going on around New York is purposely there to distract us from the huge um, earthquake that came up in the Pacific Ocean. And you can check that out. Um, I feel like there's something else going on under the sea from the meditation I just did. So what I saw just now in the meditation... And I'd gotten that feeling anyway, that this was a distraction to keep us away from the Pacific Ocean. And um, let's see here. Yeah, so the topic was definitely under the sea, but I didn't get that right away. When I first went into my meditation, I was going into that energy, which I keep getting up over and over in my Crystal Angels reads, of focusing on your third eye and then going into your mantle above your head, mantle's like a canopy, right? And connecting to those two lights into one big star above your head and then bringing that ball of fire into your heart center and then seeing all three activated, right? Your heart, your third eye, and your mantle. And it was really powering up the light in my vision, which I don't always get a lot of color in my visions. A lot of what I see is in black and white. So it's really opening something up. We're getting new activations here. So the topic under the sea, um, there's some kind of truck or container involved, okay? And again, of course, we have this container that knocked the bridge down. Um, first, I was seeing someone showing me the sun, but it wasn't very bright. And that could reference the, the eclipse, right? And then I saw an eagle, who the eagle they were showing me was actually a Roman gladiator, the eagle is literally wearing like a gladiator helmet. And then I was getting lots of healing there with lots of emerald green um, surrounding their energy. And then they were holding hands with a, a gentleman, very beautiful, kind of like Romeo and Juliet dress. Um, I was getting like Princess Bride, like just a very sweet gentleman was holding hands with the eagle and they were walking. But it's funny because the eagle was like the feminine energy with a gladiator helmet on. 
and then this very soft masculine walking and the eagle is like half the size of the masculine energy here and they're walking out in the middle of a beautiful field with like you know little yellow flowers and grass you know kind of reminded me of the princess bride and then um and then i saw this big dome of pink orange and red light it was beautiful and it's surrounded it reminded me of like an eight ball um, that you do predictions with it had like it was an eyeball in the center of this dome but it wasn't a ball underneath the eye it was a dome it was a huge like circling energy of light below this eyeball which was at the top like a mound so i'm seeing this beautiful light of peaches and pinks and reds swirling together of light around this eyeball And um, while I was writing my notes here, I also heard crows. So that counting crows might be coming up for somebody. Um, then someone opened this, the eyeball. So the eyeball ended up, it looked completely like an eyeball, like it was real. And then somebody opened it like it was a lid, like it was a hatch to get in. And then there was like a vertical drop. So there was more of an opening, not just the top, but then it vertically dropped, not a wide opening, but a narrow opening that vertically dropped down kind of like a crack in a mountain, but it was very, um, very specific cutout. It wasn't a jagged edged uh, cutout. So this dropped down from the eye. So there's some kind of opening right there and someone had broken in. Then I see someone on a bench, like inside a cave, like the man that was with the eagle, but then he's not there anymore. And I see an ET sitting there on the bench now that's got a big brown kind of bulbous head. And I was getting that he's from Beetlejuice and his face was like he was like a rock man right rock stone he was very brown um but very boldly bulbousy around his face but his jaw seemed to be protruding and they were showing it showing his mouth area to me like the nutcracker but he wasn't like a doll he was real but i was getting that energy of you know sometimes when there's um, big creases around the mouth that make it look like the nutcracker but otherwise his face was very bulbous and big um, he had a brown, rocky, or stony head with a big face and protruding chin. And then, uh, again, the nutcracker energy came up. Um, but again, this it was energy. How did they get in? Like there was a break-in. And these this was someone being held in a container um, because they don't know how they got in. And then I see Nemo, as in finding Nemo. And the fish is in a truck or the big truck container. And I think Nemo was there just to get me into the sea. And then there was a bigger fish just swimming along the bottom of the sea. And they knew already that I'd gotten that, that kind of knowing that this earthquake was a distraction for what was actually going on in the Pacific Ocean. All right. So that's what I got there. All right. So now I'm going to go back to the fourth. Today is the fifth. So I have one of these messages that I worked from yesterday and one from today. So I'm going to show you the one from yesterday. This is the one from yesterday. Okay, so again, it's that same setup that I've been doing for all the astrological signs, past, present, and future. The top line being the main topic, the middle line being the people, the bottom line being the actions to take. Okay, so this is the first one. And this is the same setup as this one. And each deck was past, present, and future decks, okay? So that was the only difference here. But both reads are the same, but as opposed to this main read here, okay? So the one, this is the second read on the table. I'm just showing you the setup. So this first read from yesterday. So it started out at 3 o'clock on the nose yesterday on 4-4. Four, four. The 4-4, four, four, I call that Ramsgate. And there's this big energy of 4-4 four, four and 4-8. Four, 4-8, eight. Four, eight, of course, is the eclipse, but 4 and 8 are the big um, structure energies. And 4 has to do with survival energy and structure, the home, etc. And then 8 being more of manifesting your dreams. But they both have to do with, you know, but eight's also power and strength and all that kind of energy. They both are in line with the same structural energy, but the 8 on a much higher level, an octave higher, so to speak. So the, um, the underlying energy here in this first read starts out with the Page of Swords. 
and Gemini energies, which can be the twins, the lovers, and Gabriel was coming up big time here. The fool and the sun at their back, radiating hugely, their hair on fire. And that can be a reference to the age of Aquarius as well. With Aries and Leo and Gemini under the radar, meet here um, of undesirables. Oh, very interesting, because now bringing, I would not have associated this with the vision I just got. So they're putting the two together here. Um, meet here of undesirables in exile, finding a way back in. That's crazy. I mean, I wrote, wrote this yesterday. I didn't remember anything about it because I did this read today. Divine lovers from the past, quote unquote, return the favor. Rockets resist taking off. That was something else I was getting. Um, uh, the, the, en the masculine energies of trying to invade the eclipse on the 8th and having rockets blast off. And that came up um, from something that Z uh, was talking about. But I was getting, there's going to be some kind of glitch with the rockets. I don't know if it's going to be all of them not being able to take off or one of them not being able to take off. But there's something about a glitch here. And divine lovers from the past, quote unquote, return the favor. Rockets resist taking off. In the past, the drama of resisting the fall or sudden change with Scorpio reversed, angels and demons, and Gabriel reflects the glare of the fire as they temper things from the sun. One left arm is seen of the divine masculine or left-handed page of swords or Gemini message here or double-handed swing like a backhanded tennis swing. So again, they're referencing being left-handed or string, a left-handed swing or string, or Gabriel's left-hand man, as opposed to right-hand man, so perhaps a feminine energy, and Mercury being in retrograde. So again, referencing Mercury and holding them back to watch what happens next. The glitches with rockets on grounding events or kids in trouble from fallout in the past. Is the Page of Swords or Gemini child sneaking up on the sun and Gabriel, or Leo and Gemini and Scorpio reversed, or is the Page of Swords Gemini with Leo and Scorpio in their chart trying to sneak back in but gets tossed out on their ear? Okay, so this is the same energy that's coming up in the meditation I just got. And then it was 314 to 15, which is angels and demons. 14 is the angels, 15 is the devil. And the three is the empress or mother earth. And I wanted to bring up uh, two, um, two things that I got in my meditations. This is happening over and over again. If I do my reads and then later on, you know, watch a show or a movie, there's spe very specific things that will always come up in the show. So the two things that came up last night were, I think in Scorpio's reading, um, someone named Dick came up, but it could have been taken, you know, in a few different ways. And then the name Dick came up <laughs> in that same exact way on what I was watching last night. And Gabriel, um, I think I was watching uh, a video and somebody's, somebody was talking to their commenter whose name was Gabriel or Gabriel. I don't know, it was Gabrielle or Gabriel, but they said Gabriel first. So it's very interesting, and it happens all the time now. So back to this, this first read, um, the past energy is the topic of the Knight of Wands, the player, the older sibling perhaps being a bad influence, falling short or falling off the wagon or paralyzed by their passions. The Knight of Wands reversed and the Page of Wands reversed could be the ones being kicked out here. Actually, and that's interesting. I didn't know they were both there again. Here, the, the Knight of Wands is reversed. The Page of Wands is upright, though. But they were both reversed here and seen as bad influences. People involved are the Six of Pentacles upright, those sharing, giving, or being charitable and balanced, perhaps being scammed by them, or two kids pretending to be poor and asking or begging for money or stuff. The action taken here was the Moon upright and howling at night or lunar eclipse, or cancer joining the wolves. The cancer could be a crab or a lobster. It's actually a lobster in the picture, but cancer is coming up. So it can be referencing a crab. Maybe joining the wolves, right? That, that are howling at the moon, which they may not usually do, right? Kind of like joining uh, the people they're always yelling at, or perhaps the kids. Maybe they're helping their kids. 
release some energies, but letting all their frustrations out at night or take in, in taking a walk in someone else's shoes, those with and without. And that could be the two different people, or perhaps that some have shoes and some don't. Being present here in the present moment was the Page of Wands reversed, whose energy is all over the place, perhaps having temper tantrums, frustrations here. Um, twin towers or pie energy could be coming up there as well, or fiery kids with nothing to do, no outlet for their energies. People involved could be the King of Cups reversed, perhaps Scorpio reversed, perhaps giving or aligning with the wrong crowd or giving too much to their kids, perhaps to appease them, or the King of Cups reversed with conditions for them to now get their, uh, their allowance. Or is the King of Cups reversed emotionally detached or over emotionally or depressed or alcoholic or dealing with other addictions or troubled kids or teens? The action to take is the Three of Wands upright, could be waiting it out, being present, especially at night, or thinking of a good gift to give for positive reinforcement. There's very little water seen in this read, the drying up of creeks and emotions, or how can the ship come in if there's no water, or creating a dam to fix the bridge, or after the lunar eclipse and rain, because we today was like the first day it didn't rain, and like this is, I think it was the fifth day, and now pure sunshine, which yesterday it was sunshine in the morning, but then it rained again all afternoon. So today was the first day. Um, so now pure sunshine was yesterday when it was sunny, and then the water drying up, or seeing beaches get bigger instead of smaller. Um, the future here was coming up as the topic of the Knight of Cups upright and being love. Perhaps kids doing a 180 or cancer or cancer season arrived who's willing to lead the knight of wands and the page of wands both reversed to a better path or a hike in the mountains perhaps or camp or a specific wilderness camp for troubled kids or teens the people involved are the seven of swords reversed who may still be a bit sneaky or coming clean getting clean cleaning up their act or their space and is that king of cups reversed taking off 10 years like feeling like a young buck again, or somehow find a way to get ahead in the race. The Knight of Wands reversed and the Page of Wands reversed can't figure out how they did this. The action here, and then it was at 338 to 39, which is the Queen and Knight of Cups. The action here is the King of Pentacles reversed, perhaps not to give so much, or be more stern with the kids, or recognizing the need to ground the kids. Maybe they're not, they never punish them. But it's interesting that I wrote that because today, just before your video, I have the, the two old men Muppets on my mantle and they look like they're shocked. Like they, like how did they do that? <laughs> it's the same energy, that's crazy. Okay, so the Page of Cups is upright here at 341, which is the Empress and the 41 of the Ace of Cups. The Page of Cups is that sweet, innocent energy, a message of love or kindness, or a child or pet, perhaps showing how it's done, making an offer, or just an extension of kindness to one who may be grounding and integrating under a tree, or bored of some old offers, or now taking kindnesses for granted, because they always get them. Making an offer to hang out, or see things another way, as Pisces is upright with Capricorn reversed, or the King of Pentacles reversed, is now being kind to themselves, gifting themselves at night, perhaps an offer by the Knight of Cups that was to be given, was tainted or gossiped about by the Page of Wands reversed, and the Knight of Wands reversed, and the King of, Wands re uh, King of Cups reversed, and the King of Pentacles reversed, perhaps believed them. And now if the Page of Cups comes again, and an offer of love, that may have been rejected three times or more before, will the King of Pentacles reversed rise to the occasion or wait it out, taking time alone to feel into the energies of what's best for themselves? As the final card here is the Wheel of Fortune upright, destiny in their favor, learning to stay quiet and not blab or gossip, keeping um, the need to talk or show off in check, 
and grounding self before speaking. And this is whether they're doing this for themselves or for one of their children, perhaps, or, ta or knowing when to take a time out. With Cancer, Pisces, Capricorn, and Libra all upright here. And then the past with the Lenormand and Kipper decks here was the underlying energy of the coffin, uh, which was 19. After the 24 thief, 25 ring which, with the ace of wands and 37 of the boy in poverty, the 19 of the sun in the coffin. Perhaps the king of cups reversed is feeling like the kids or the knight of wands and page of wands reversed are going to be the death of him, leaving the queen of wands and knight of wands behind with a new passion, leaving with nothing and ending it once and for all. Did the child scam the adults or did the adults scam the child? Or was it the new girlfriend or wife and their child, the new girlfriend and their child who scammed the man with the top hat or formal and wealthy and was just looking for some companionship and perhaps got taken by a woman with her child? Was a child or son nesting the dream at school, finding peace with the Queen of Cups and then the 35 and 36 of the wounded warrior suffering in silence and then Atlas with all the burden of the Six of Wands reversed, no longer leading the way or feeling like a failure or now with a bad reputation due to friends that they were associated with or socializing with or a third party involvement here. A man with sudden thoughts of her and the Knight of Cups taking a chance with the 29 and the woman of power and truth uh, where she may be looking out for someone, or maybe they're looking to see if she is looking out for them, or looking to change residence. Maybe they want to know if she's willing to move. Perhaps the hermit, or did this woman take advantage of the hermiting man with the top hat, getting them to pay for their child and give them a ring? Or was that the child, that the child was sent packing, or have a condition that went unexposed or undetected and had to leave because that could have led to a death of someone else perhaps or the end of a relationship of the parents. Um, then the cards that came out were the, the five of the tree, which is also the seven of cups, the 20 of the park and the eight of swords, the three of the marriage and the two of the uh, four leaf clover or wish with the high priestess and the family's dream event perhaps releasing her to someone else. Perhaps parents are like, we're hoping to marry this person off so that they'd be off of their hands. They wouldn't have to deal with them anymore. Um, the empress, high priestess, or perhaps sharing equally with sister. As we turn the page at 407, and that'll come up today as well. The 407 is the emperor and the chariot with space between but four to seven is also my sweet spot. And I always, for me, it was always having to do with numbers, right? Four to seven is like just to the, to, the, um, to the left or the light side of the middle. But it's also four to seven is the heart to the crown chakra. So was a child sneaking out or running away at night? Uh, we also, the, the Hierophant and the Empress are thought to be a lucky partnership here or a lucky strike, or a lucky find. And again, someone trying to pawning their daughter off on someone. Or this could have been a shotgun wedding as well. And again, this is coming up in the past. Or is the man longing for someone from his past, finally leaving their current situation and feeling very vulnerable or literally homeless? The underlying energy in the present here at 411 is the past life love. Your souls remember this intense connection. The, car, the first card out was release, a time apart and then marriage moving to sacred union and a leap of faith that is safe to do and then fate that this is a destined partnership. Perhaps as a child the page of wands reversed grew into the king of cups reversed and now is trying to change into the knight of cups upright and cleaning up their act to learn the mat learn to master their time money and efforts at 414 or it's we go from 415 to 4 414 to 415 here which is the emperor and then again angels and devil or angels and demons the future then here is the underlying energy of the 19 of the sun and the falling angel 
of spiritual narcolepsy, and that's from this deck over here. The sun rose like an angel, but died in resistance of the light. The sun, falling angel, and then Gabriel came up here, perhaps with Gemini, Leo, and Scorpio around them, affecting their life adversely. The first card out here is the 15 of the dust devil, kicking up the dust into a cyclone so that the 33, which is also the Christ vibration, Knight of Swords, Stranger, would be curious about diving in. With the 34, which is the Eight of Wands, an energetic exchange of the King of the Hill with the lay of the land, Capricorn air sign perhaps, the sun fell, causing a storm, causing the sun, Knight of Swords, to get curious and climb a mountain to see the crop circles or do a rocky cheer, to know what it's like to be at the top, or so they could now dive off as the 10 with the wheel comes up and Libra into a task or into the ocean of that lay of the land. The 57 of the Three of Swords and the unmarked trail of revelations with the big squeeze, the maze, the screw of the coal into a diamond, healing the heart and the journey to the center of the earth, the core, to come back out and then build a bridge. The 47, there's the four to seven again with the Seven of Cups, a dream bridge, the sky bridge with possibility for union, perhaps just dumping a lot of rocks between two points and making them one big house instead. From one big rock to another, a sacred contract in order. The key, the vehicle, unwritten covenant, and giving a ring, perhaps a phone call or a jewel, could be an actual ring. And, um, and I was reminded of the scene in Sex and the City where she didn't want a ring, and then he gave her a ring, and he says to her, you know, and this is why there's a need for a ring. You have to seal the deal. <laughs> Or one must play the lottery if they expect to win. The prize, it only takes one dollar. The doll, they are. The diamond they seek is you. But the rings must be linked in, continuing where left off, the jump off point at 439, which is the emperor and the knight of cups. Uh, the king of cups reversed had come up just before that. So then we have the... The rider underlying energies. Where are we here now? I'm not sure if this is part of that still. So well, either way, at, at 914, which is the hermit and the temperance energy, the underlying energy of the Knight of Cups reversed with the Magician Upright came up. And these might have been um, some extra cards I just pulled. But I'm going to, it's just a page, so I'm going to give you the information. Um, the Knight of Cups at 918 then was reversed, rejected, or jealous magician, arrogantly single and happy with the Queen of Pentacles reversed, Taurus, or marriage to the Page of Wands reversed, or a pet. But it didn't work out and starting over again, or Leo or egos are involved here, or weaknesses, perhaps a lack of courage. With the Knight of Cups, Queen of Pentacles, and Page of Wands all reversed, and all very different there, right? We have cups, we got pentacles, we got wands, perhaps with arrogant people and the power um, struggle between them, or actual power people between them, or alternative versus traditional spiritual beliefs with Gemini and Taurus upright and Leo reversed, all three very different from one another or power players dividing them up. The King of Cups, I was just getting to, there's a show on Netflix, um, a competition of athletes. And I was kind of getting that energy from that as well. You know, it could just be watching a show where they're picking teams of power players. But the first energy up here is the King of Cups upright and the Emperor upright, which is the ultimate power, the loving man and the Emperor, or alter egos, with the wheel upright and judgment reversed, with Aries upright, Libra upright, and Aquarius reversed, destined to school the Page of Cups, that innocent child or, or pet or invitation, a need to 
swallow their pride here or get a tutor. Or the King of Cups is keeping their kid, the Page of Cups, away from the Emperor so their secret won't get out. Or the Page of Cups is grounded so he's not allowed to play with Grandpa. So we have the Tower reverse and the Seven of Cups reverse, resistant to change, giving up on dreams, or dumping emotional attachments that are not serving them, and or dramatic tears. As the King of Pentacles maybe keeping to themselves to keep their energy clear, home with peace of mind or stable in need of peace, or stuck at a party, perhaps being a wallflower without a ride home or unable to get out of it. As the Page of Pentacles, Five of Pentacles, and Ten of Pentacles, that's reversed, um, all four pages are out here. The Page of Pentacles may be hurt by the Ten of Pentacles reversed family, business, or community of dysfunction or refusing to help them or pay for their schooling or their car, as the chariot is upright, making a big move, the seven of pentacles reversed and the five of swords reversed, investing in ending the war within. The hanging man and justice both reversed here, uh, may be awakening or surprised by the injustice at night at a distance or in disconnect, needing some one-to-one -one time and defenseless to the empress upright or without an excuse. Libra is reversed and Taurus upright here, and the Eight of Cups walking away without a choice, depressed Page of Swords reversed, or Aquarius with the King of Swords reversed Devil, or Temptation waving, or Capricorn King of Swords reversed, maybe a bad influence on the Page of Swords reversed, where the Fool now is free from the Ace of Cups reversed, or taking a leap of faith and proud of themselves for rejecting love a love offer and sex offers that don't align with them. The sun is reversed with the nine of swords upright, drained by purging all night, and present to the queen of cups reversed, and the nine of pentacles, and the knight of swords reversed, holding their tongue, about dumping a load or the responsibilities, or independent nine of pentacles, is with the queen of cups reversed and the knight of swords reversed, who are taking a load off or coming to visit. The Six of Cups is reversed with the Queen of Swords upright in an energetic, energetic exchange here with the uh, Ten of Cups reversed, unhappy family, or in order to end a cycle that needs to end an emotional cycle. With the Nine of Wands at 9.59, kind of the 11th hour there, with the Dark Knight or Scorpio wounded warrior uh, not letting anyone stand in their way to get bliss with the Queen of Wands reversed, High Priestess, Hermit, or shedding light on Sister or a quiet one, to get to the truth, to end the conflict with the Four of Pentacles or Divine Masculine perhaps holding on. All right, so then we came into today's energy on the fifth. And all right, so I was posting about the star, like I told you about the mantle and all its different definitions. And then at 1023 to 24, the earthquake happened in Lebanon, New Jersey, which is west of New York City, and it's north of Philadelphia. Um, and it was one kilometer depth. It was very interesting because I looked back at the, the earthquake in, in uh, the 7.4 earthquake that happened two days ago, and that was 123, where was it? 132 miles deep. Okay, so a lot deeper than the one we had here, very surface oriented. So um, the one that was here was felt from Philadelphia to Boston. And let's see. And there was other stuff um, in California, their experience, Hurricane Hillary, tropical storm. And there was a 6.8 near Mariana Islands at 6 a.m. And I kept getting the time 6 yesterday as well, at, at, as far as time, at 6 o'clock. Um, and that was 4 p.m. Eastern time. So out in the Pacific, a distance from and between Japan, China, and Indonesia is this location that was 132 miles deep. And seven, the 7.4 7 trembler follows... Uh, the 7.4 earthquake in Taiwan. I think I'm writing that right, but you can check that out. Um, that was at 8 a.m. 
and it killed, uh, like it was reporting to have killed nine people and injured over a thousand with several small tsunami waves reported, but they weren't, uh, they weren't reporting any worries about having any, any huge tsunamis in uh, Okinawa, Japan. So again, that's more concerning than what's going on here, but even more is actually what's happening in this Pacific Ocean, right? Where this area is, it's really far out from everything. So I look back too, because I'd felt a tremor uh, several years ago, and that was from September 9th, 2020. That was at 2 a.m. in the morning, but in New Jersey also, that came, it was close to New York that came into our area. So I was just then getting energy. This wasn't from cars. This is just the energies I was getting as I began. So the energy of today is the five of the Hierophant, which is Taurus and the bull. And the day adds up to the star, which is Aquarius energy. And Aquarius is Aqua Rias, which is the emotion of laughter. So the bull who laughs was coming up from today after I posted the star. And, the, and also yesterday, the day before, the energy of three and four that leads to five, which is the Hierophant, and the three and four is the Empress and the Emperor. Um, I was getting three and four that leads to five at six. And there, that was the Mariana uh, expecting the aftershock. Um, the main earthquake being from four, three, and then expecting some kind of aftershock this week. And we actually had one here the same day. So the bull who laughs, 23 to 24. And remember the bull also is, is Taurus is also the dragon energy. Um, there's a, an unofficial dragon in the Taurus constellation whose tail ends up as the Pleiades and their bre dragon breath basically is, it's like Orion facing his dragon self. Okay. So there's that energy coming up here too. From 23 to 24, and again, the year 23 to 24 of the King of Wands and Queen of Wands, to 23 being 2, 3, and then 24 being 2, 4. 3 is the Earth Mother, to the 4 of the Lambda, or Lambda Father Leap. And then Father Ether was coming up, and Ether being spelled like the heart and like Earth with the E-A-R-T-H, Ether, E-A, excuse me, A-E-T-H-R. All right, it's just the way they, they're showing me to spell ether, which leads to five, right? And ether comes up as the combination of the four elements. So sometimes it might come up as four or five. And then the father to mother, terra to heart. And then they brought up the energies of all of those earth spelling words. Um, Ea was coming up regarding the earth and then ash because AE is ash, which is also bright light and Pleiadian according to Elena Danan's book and the high road coming up there. So they were breaking down the words earth and then the first letter of earth, right? So we have E is earth, A is ether, R is wreath, T is terra, but T-E-H-R-A, and then H is the heart. They all have the same letters. So this energy of, oh, they had me breaking down the meanings of all of them. And the word T-E-H came up, which is a blade or bed of water. And what's coming up is, um, which will come up in my notes here, is that the 3D earth is coming up as you know, it's a kind of solid rock earth, but as we go into the new earth, it's based on water. It was very interesting. So the bed of water here, earth ray, with the heart here, the root, hanging out at the root, being good or casual to call. These are all definitions coming up here. Um, and then the mantle came up here, which one of the definitions of mantle is of a cope is actually mantle. So it's very interesting how many of the definitions come back to mantle. Um, and also hound dog came up here as well. He a hound. And then divine director came up too. Dan dog came up and then divine director. So they had me break down the five words 
based on the first two letters and then the first three letters of each word and then the first four letters of each word and this is what came out from that. Okay, and the goat and the antelope roam. I just want to make sure I didn't miss anything on this page that I might not have brought forward. Okay. All right, so from the, from the first two letters of each word, the message came out at 1240 here, which is the hanging man and the page of cups. And the message came out, the page of cups, or number 40, which was also Ia, Ia's uh, end key, and the associated number was number 40, which is the page of cups. The page of cups with airy nature and flowing disposition. And then each first three letters of each of those words was what goes around, comes around, and hangs around. That was that message. And then the first four letters of each of the five words was the ash and bright light are the roots of the peas in the earth pod in existence forever. You know, that could be an exaggeration, but yeah, going and coming back around. Their infinite pain, grief, shock, and fear, an offensive bright light written off. The goat hears and is here where the antelope roam. So the antelope was being broken down, ante and lope. But remember, L is two dots, which is also an arc. So lope can also be cope, which came back to that again, which is mantle. Um, so home on the range came up with the antelope, where the antelope roam. And range was literally coming up as ran and GE, which is running energy. Where the antelope roam to leap, jump, walk, run, and long. Loops, rope, coward, stride, cutting off homosexual, promise, to flow, sprout, and interact with was all coming up from lope. And range was coming up with home on the range, that running energy. Um, RA and NGE is, to, is the ray of uniting with a person with little eyes and face, the scorpion, and time for leisure opportunity there. And then from scoutsongs.com, I wrote down one of the verses from home on the range, which is, Oh, give me a home where the buffalo roam, where the deer and the antelope play, where seldom is heard a discouraging word, and the skies are not cloudy all day. So, um, and I looked up the differences between the deer and the antelope, and in Wikipedia here, they actually said the antelope is recently extinct, so I don't know if that's true for all antelope, but that's what they said, okay? So antelope was being broken down here as anti and then lope or cope, and before cope, upping the ante, stirring the pot or an investment to cure sorrow before corner pilaster, which are kind of like fake columns. They look like columns, but they're part of the wall. They're like half columns of pillars, or that can be pillars on either side of a doorway as well, like a Greek temple entrance, a jam, a landmark, a dolmen, the large vertical rock or stone, character, nature, disposition, essence, you, yours, rice and dirt, uh, the door, the shelter, the panel, sash, the ages of 40s, 50s, and 60s, to give, allow, assume, accept, presume, approve, end goal, to intestine, tapir, which is a goat antelope, and a stupid person, a female moose or elk, a rancid odor, and savanna monitor, which is a type of lizard. It's a medium-sized lizard in Africa, about three feet long, 100 centimeters, actually. And um, antelope translated to, I don't think they're positive about what it actually came from, but fabulous animal came up, or beautiful eyes. And the difference between the deer and the antelope, mostly, is that the deer, you know, re they lose their horns and the antelope do not. They're like goats. They keep them. Um, and the deer are not nearly as fast as the antelope. The deer are about 35 miles per hour, short distance, and the antelope were listed as 53 for short distance and 27 miles per hour long distance. 
So then they were taking me back to um, the five words again, earth, ether, wreath, terra, and heart. And they're associating each with something, right? So earth is three, three is the empress, which is associated with mother earth. So earth was three, ether is four, wreath five, terra six, and heart was coming up as seven. Then they also equated them with mother, father, the wreath being the ring of fire, terra being the new earth, and the heart being the key. Also, the elements were coming up, right? Earth is earth, obviously, the ether as air, the ring of fire as fire, and then the new earth as water. And then the earth being bedrock, and the new earth being the blade ray, the bed of water, the blade ray, which that blade references like the ace of swords. Um, what else is coming up? Oh, and then the, the signs. So the earth came up with number three, which is the house of Gemini, and ether was coming up under Cancer. The wreath or ring of fire was coming up under Leo, as in Lion's Gate. And then the new earth was coming up under Virgo, which is six, the house of Virgo, which is also Gemini and the twins, which is all Mercury, and Mercury's retrograde right now. And then the heart was coming up as seven, and Libra, the house of Libra. And then the, uh, the, the art of he was coming up. The seven at the heart was coming up as the boomerang. What goes around, comes around, comes up again here and hangs out in balance. The energy of Libra being the scales of truth and balance. The, um, the hierophant was then coming back up again too, right? Hero is H-I-E-R-O, which means here. It means to rub, massage, wound, injure, hurt, offend, her. And H-I-E-R, just without the O on the end, is to stamp with a rod, also being here and there and hither and now, hire, as in hire someone, and her and them. Play, game, hair, and rent. So again, Heros Gamos comes up regarding the hero font, right? Because that's the, the holy sacred marriage. And we're talking about what goes around, comes around, and we're talking about huge time periods of, you know, whether it's, you know, millions of years or whether it's been 10 years for you since something came around again. And there is this energy of what goes around. So look back in your childhood, like of people that were in your childhood who then came back around already. And there's some kind of connection in the time period here. Um, So the Hierophant is the, as in Hieros Gamos, is the Holy Sacred Union, is the Holy or Sacred Breathlessness or Gasp. It also comes up as the higher pH, or so, so H-I-E-R is higher, and then the O of human embodiment of source, and then the pH, which is the pH balance in your body, which is also P is 7 and H is 8. 7 to 8 is the crown to the high heart. And it's also the 78, which is the end of the Tarot, the Ten of Pentacles. And then the, uh, the ant at the end, which is also A-N and T. A-N is one, and T is source creator. So this energy of the higher human pH of seven to eight, one of source creator. The holier sacred breathlessness or gasp. Hierophant also is the master of the hidden house. So with the three, four, five, six, seven, eight, we have the Empress, the Emperor, the Hierophant, the Lovers, the Chariot, and the Strength, which involves balance too, not just the 11, which is sometimes 11 and eight are switched in different tarot decks, where 11 is justice of alignment, the two ones, but eight is more of that um, circular roundabout of balance and strength. The Ring of Fire with eight, eight, uh, was coming up here. And again, they were bringing me to the, to August 11th, which is the end of the Olympics. But what it was really showing me was 
at Lion's Gate is the flipping here of going from the four to seven cycle that we've been in, kind of like my two, three, four, five pod, as opposed to my six, nine, eight pod with seven being the key, which is the upper octave, right? The four section, which is the survival section, and then the eight section, which is about manifesting your dreams. And that can be referenced to the lower chakra system versus the higher chakra system. So the energy of the, the hierophant, right, the H-I-E-R was coming up in comparison to the H-E-I-R, which they were showing me he, I-R, is him, and higher is her game, higher. He is the I am and R, and her game is higher of the ring of fire. So then 357 was coming up as the odd numbers here of the Empress, Hierophant, and the Chariot together, which when I looked up in Gematria, the entry was number and then spirited, and then 468, six, which are the even numbers of the Emperor, the Lovers, and the Strength card, where the first entry was he needing to admit he lied, and the second entry was this is the end. And then I added the two numbers together. So it's 357 plus 468 is eight and a quarter or 825, which is the strength card, the high priestess and the hierophant. So I looked up 825 and I listed the first five entries. The first entry of 825 is my mind is herein I God. The second entry was Dolly Parton. The third was he unable to erase the bride. Number four was Rise of the Phoenix, and number five was Embodied My Tree of Life. And I looked down below to see if there's anything that resonated, and the 38th entry was Exaltation. And they also had the numbers in there of 110 and 101, and actually 149 came up as well. 5D was coming up as Mastering the Hidden House with the Ring of Fire from 48 to 88. But the 6D is the Lovers. Right, so it's like the coupling is 6D, not 5D, because 5D is the stationing, right? From 5D, you can jump off anywhere. So I don't know if 5D is really where any of us are staying once we get to that place. It's kind of like, like the train station, right? But 6D is coming up as the lovers, which references the twins. 7D being the chariot of ascension, I'm actually ascending. And then 8D to 11D was coming up as the strength of balance to the alignment of balance, which, you know, takes you kind of out of this realm. The Empress and the Emperor of three and four equals the strength of the High Priestess and Hierophant in the way that it was coming up um, in what I just described to you. The horizontal and vertical of the Eagle or EA's glee and the Lambda or Lambda Father Leap of Faith, the heart key boomerang here of what goes around comes around and hangs around or stays. And also it was bringing up that, that poem about um, if, you, if you want something, set it free. If, it, if it's yours, it'll come back, right? If it doesn't, it never was. So this energy of of, again, there's these time periods that will be specific to you. So I can't really describe that to you because it's unique for each person in their situation. But I was getting this energy of uh, these years being very significant from perhaps if you woke up around 15 or 16, um, 24, 25, 26 is coming up as very significant um, for the unions. And is also referencing the 4 to 7 to the 8 to 11, 8, 9, 10, and 11 years were coming up. And um, 2024 being an 8 year, 25 being a 9 year, 26 a 10 year, and 27 11 year. So they're all very significant there because they're all paralleling with everything that was coming up. So now the sweet, st sweet spot will be 8 to 11, which is the heart chakra, like 4 to 7, the heart to the crown. Now would be the high heart, raising the ante here, the high heart to the fourth eye, so to speak, or the ninth chakra, um, ascension glossary calls it the atomic doorway at the throat. And then um, the 10th chakra, the solar star, the 11th, the galactic, 
and the twelfth would be then the earth star at the ground, where then uh, Ascension Glossary lists 14, 15, the 16 as the universal mother, son, and father. So from, let me see what I have over here. It was interesting too, as I was writing down the high heart, my daughter was listening to um, Evanescence, and right at 222, going under came up. And again, it was giving me the same thing with the chakra system, right? The lower chakra system going down, the higher chakra system going up. The, um, from the heart, the four heart to the seven crown, to the high heart eight, to the 11 of the galactic chakra. And I was getting the energies of like my example of pi to phi, and then the Pisces being the 12th chakra, the one that grounds you to the earth, the tie to earth. The heart raised an octave or octave, which is literally eight path, to blast off to galactic realms while tied to Terra, the new earth, having a gale time as in Gaia. 13, 14, 15, transitioning the angel and devil, mother's control over son and father, and getting a hand oh, on the sword of truth, the sword, the S word, Sophia's cord, the C word, cord. And then cope comes up again, where it's the C, the O, the P, and the E, which C is the whispering bench, the arc or the leap, the bridge of human embodiment, O, of source, and then PE, which is the P temple like the two peas in a pod. Cope is C-O and then P-E, like co-peas, the two peas in the pod. Um, the P, of course, is also the 17th letter, which is today, the star, and also lots of other definitions here, like thread and mantle came up. And Friday, which comes up in another definition as well, the ray, stone, and rock come up again, summoning, P, and to assemble, to be correct, enough, sane, intelligent, sharp, and to say something, to become profitable, etc. So literally it was coming up as co-P or co-rock, co-thread, co-father, or co-houses, bringing two houses together, the canopy, the mantles, the vertical protection. Co three or Mother Earth and the eagle soaring, the horizontal and vertical. Co trees or two houses or two families coming together. Co rays, co through and through, co peas in a pod or co summon was coming up as the sum of Monday, which is the first day. And co assembly, which then leads to co creators of two to three. So the two, two to three is also reminds me of the 23, which is the King of Wands, but he was coming up as more as the connection between the two and the three, which the two is the high priestess and the three is the empress or mother earth. And two can also be the queen and also the divine feminine, whereas three is mother earth right? But they're both feminine energies there with the masculine between. And then the dance of the eighth came up, which is the DA of the father and then NCE, which is the dad from here to there, us and besides. The D also references the spin of the earth on the axis, the letter D. And then AN is one and CE is the C, where the world spins on an axis like Atlas does, one and C which are colon and colon, right? The one is actually two dots arcing between each other, whether it's a straight line or an arc, like a C. The I and the C are just two perspectives of the same, the bridge. It's the I am side, and then the Christ consciousness unity side, the two dead ends or connection, benched or on the bench, whispering across realms of the parentheses and antithesis, which is the pairing of the C's and the anti the C's, the antithesis of parentheses, inside out, through and through, and corded, and whistling a happy tune, which tune is two one. 
and courted, whispering bench word to Ed. His projection is word, her projection is cord. Now, mind you, O-R-D also means word. The pie, his pie, he shared with her, and her phi that went outside that pie and broke those seas apart, and they flipped, right? It's like the parting of the seas, and flipped them around inside out, and now sitting back to back and corded or tied, lovingly imprisoned by each other. The ko pow P-O-W, prisoner of war, or powwow, a ritual conducted by Native American shaman, or a meet, private, a conference. And the next entry that popped up when I looked that up after powwow was pod powiadak, P-O-D-P-O-W-I-A-D-A-C, with a little accent over the C, which equals to clue in or suggest, prompt, or autofill, which is just what just happened. So I kind of cracked up about that. So the pod, P-O-W, and then I-A-D-A-C. And one of the things that came up was iodic or relating to iodine, especially with valency of five, which is the hierophant. And ADAC, A-D-A-C, is after death and then A-C, which can be alternating current, but also before meals. But ADAC, A-D-A-C, also means H-O-D, HOD, to jog along on horseback, which also can reference Mr. Ed or bob up and down. It's also a three-sided box on a pole in order to carry bricks or coals or etc. on your shoulder to throw and also a feast day, holy day, a religious calling, the Trinity, walk, gate, pace, and I was getting a stone's throw away and then OD was the last definition, which of course you know can reference um, overdosing. The trine of gratitude, a stone's throw away, with the pod POW, and the IM after death and before meals. So again, bringing them up, always coming back to center again. I, the odd inner child, to jog along on horseback, and shoulder the weight of the world, and throw a feast day, a holy day, spiritual trinity, a walk, a gate, and a pace. And of course, then Mary Magdalene feast day came up, which is 722-24, which that day adds up this year to 37, which is the King of Cups and unconditional love. Two peas in a pod, having a powwow. I, a dad, on the whispering bench or bridge. A Poseidon adventure, posing as I, Don. The divine spin is on, the game's on, the feast of Olympians, tied to pie seas and corded, raised an octave to harmony, the eight path, cord ed, corded. Okay, reference to Mr. Ed or connected to source. Okay, so then, All right, so then we go into my new, the read on the table here. And this was at 3.50 p.m. today. The past life of the, of the angels. Okay, so I pulled the past life deck up here. And the underlying energy here is the angels with galactic energy behind it. And I'd never really looked at the star arrangement on this card before Alhina came up. And you can literally see this as Orion's belt, roughly, and this being serious with Betelgeuse, which came up in this reading, and Procyon. And then this could reference Alhina, literally, because it's a little bit off-center to Sirius across. So this could reference Alhina here as well. So we have the angels watching from the stars, the galactic angels here. And then the cards that came up here, which is community. It's like a, st a wall in the mountains. And then the woman praying with phobias, and then the mother with her children, and then the pyramids came up there. So the angels with communal living, phobias, mother, and Egypt. 
and ca again calling all angels the galactic one who get who gels who's relaxed the fear of communal living in the wall of the mountain the fortress energy of the kingdom on a mountain and needing to fight for their territory and phobias in general here for no reason at all just feeling something and being afraid to call on your angels or always calling on the angels uh, mothering being afraid of birth because you might die or afraid of telling kids stories because they're lies um, Egypt coming up as someone feeling like they got gypped the clouds were looking to me like the P and the E again again the P's in the pod but also the P the capital P for me is like the the head of the safety pin references the masculine and the housing that the protection of the masculine and the other O in this card here it was coming up like P and then the little E was coming up over here, but also looks like the P as the pin. And then this looks like my, my tunneling effect, like that suspended animation, like a stent um, in midair, right? Which also references the, um, the flipping of pages, you know, to make a storybook into a movie, that same kind of energy of seeing one frame at a time, but seeing them all at once. The pin and the grail, the housing and the tunnel or bridge. The little pyramid looks like a flag, like a red flag next to the big pyramid. As the, at the angle I was looking at it, the lighting made the smaller pyramid just look like a flag. It was coming up as the smaller pyramid being used as a pawn or a sacrifice to the gods. And then Ben Ben was coming up. Housing in and then God's rail or tunneling out was coming up. Burrowing in and tunneling out or living underground and Groundhog's Day was coming up there at 404. And then I started up again at 408. So there again is today's, yesterday's date and then um, the eclipse on 408. So the underlying energy of the rider cards here with the underlying energy is the seven of wands upright, the empress reversed is where I'm showing you here. The sun upright, the four of swords reversed, the knight of wands reversed, the page of wands upright. So those two are here again together the temperance card upright, and the ten of pentacles reversed. Standing up to the empress reversed, the sun upright, fully awakened, and the knight of wands reversed to the page of wands upright, put on alert or reminded. Perhaps, arching bodies or This, there could be a lot of aching bodies, like people are feeling a lot of aches with this energy coming in. I know that I did. Um, my body just felt really cramped up this week. I just couldn't get loose no matter what I did. Um, there's also the energy of the player falling short, paralyzed by their passions, or gets a second wind as the Page of Wands, Sagittarius, or Patient Angel, over the Ten of Pentacles reverse family, business, or community and their dysfunction at 411, which is urgent information needed. And again, Gabriel here watching over us. So Taurus reversed, Leo upright, and Sagittarius reverse came up here. It's the Page of Wands energy of excited to watch and observe the Ten of Pentacles reversed. The past energy being the world upright, the star reversed and then the three of wands upright here around the world and coming full circle in completion all out there perhaps a neighbor pisces divine feminine and angels people depressed or needing to heal or seeing the divine feminine as arrogant or not getting attention the action to take here was the three of wands just being present perhaps a gift or with gifts or gifted and waiting for their arrival Remember, Mother Earth protects her children. So even if there is an earthquake, it's for the best and highest good of all those concerned. She is a mother, just like any other mother, naturally wants to protect all of her children the best she can. So remember that. The events for the best and highest good of all of the collective. Pisces upright Aquarius reverse with Leo Sag wa watching for what's next. At 418 is the Emperor and the Moon. And the present energies of the Six of Wands reversed, the Three of Pentacles upright, and the Wheel upright here in this line. 
under the radar are lacking attention, failure, or attention seeking, or needing to repair their reputation. The Six of Wands reversed may be seeking attention or secretly watching the world or their neighbor or Pisces or the Divine Feminine. People involved are the Three of Pentacles upright at work or those co-creating, perhaps a formal celebration or church, perhaps the tax office or those who could fix what is broken or make corrections for you. The action to take here at the present is the Wheel of Fortune. You have divine timing. Destined, the wheel is in your favor, or Libra upright, and the Sphinx, who's keeping the golden goose in check, or trying to watch and listen, but the kids or pets keep acting up, or under house arrest, earth, wind, and fire coming up here as well, and the three of pentacles at the center, the core, the hub, which again is co-creation for me. Destined to encounter neediness, depression, arrogance, and abuse of power, or weak, sick, elderly. The future energy here is of justice upright with the emperor reversed and then the ace of wands upright. Of truth and balance with energy coming up with justice upright, which is truth and balance. That could be a Libra energy as well. And then the people being the emperor reversed, and then the Libra upright could come up as well. And um, Aries reversed with the emperor. Perhaps after some kind of abuse of power, Aries fall or demoted or stepping down from power or retirement. The action here is the ace of wands of new passion project, lighting a fire or flame holder, carrying a torch for teacher or putting you in your place or just excitable man child ready for the wheel to turn their destiny or at the casino wheel and blocked from the table or a strong east wind is coming, uh, checking, checking the barometer here or adding a fourth to the present group or list of projects. And again, that fourth quarter is coming up here too. Or where waiting for their ship to come in and the fourth quarter has now arrived. With the Nine of Cups reversed, Strength card reversed, and the Hierophant reversed, the one who is dissatisfied and weak or just tired of being alone after working on themselves, needing the courage to divorce or break away from a religion or establishment or health care that encourages illness to make a profit, or a proposed or proposal of Leo reversed, Taurus reversed, to Libra upright with gifts, but do they have anything to add? Or are they a detriment? Or is the Hierophant reverse coming in to cover or replace the Emperor reversed, where the Justice or Judge or Libra partner stands as is? Or as we go from Aries to Taurus season, it looks like those and Leo season may be trying for us, or those people trying to break in or return. The fourth card turns up the Queen of Wands reversed here, the fiery Taurus or earthy Leo or egotistical and stubborn or ex queen of wands reverse, perhaps making a final stand or grandstanding arrogantly demanding their attention. As the past going back, back to the past, present and future with their individual decks here. Okay. We're going back to the Lenormand and Kipper decks over there where the underlying energy is marriage, which came up twice yesterday in the underlying energies, at least twice after the four of courtship, the 20 of the house, and then 20 again in the other deck of the park with the eight of swords, and then the, um, and then the three of marriage. So literally the cards came up as three, 20, 20, and then four. The courtship, the gated community, a big outdoor wedding, and then the 10 of pentacles reverse dysfunctional family, business, or community. This also can reference the marriage of 2023 to 2024 as the King of Wands and the Queen of Wands, the Divine Mass and Divine Feminine energies clearing the, their distorted ego as the first card that came out was the card of self-deliverance, the one of the magician or Gemini perhaps or Divine Masculine. But again, it's that self-discovery with the six of the King of Wands and a breakthrough the sun, whether it's the sun in the sky or your sun, comes out, or Leo or Gemini deliverance here with the 25 
of the Knight of Wands and High Honors, or a 25-gun salute in order here, perhaps 25 years or 2025, a quarter delivery at six. Ones and sixes come up a lot here, and they came up the other day too with my parents, the ones and sixes. One is the Divine Masculine, of course, and six is the lovers. One is also the magician. But the Divine Masculine and family was coming up, and the magician and lovers. Gemini and Virgo as well, and Aries perhaps, where Mercury's in retrograde in Aries now, following the leader, because Aries is also in the North Node. And Mars doesn't go into Aries until, I believe, April 30th. 16 to 25 was coming up here, whether that means nine years or you coming together from towering inferno to high honors through stars, daughter moon, and the sun, sun, and judgment day 2020, the wake up call, through and to completion of 21 in the world view, the fool's leap 22, and with an open heart into 2023 and 2024. Mother Earth and the marriage of the King of Wands and Queen of Wands to clear the distorted ego. Seven to eight, the crown to the high heart and the boomerang into a closed circuit of the eight, the cycle change from four to seven to eight to 11 and heaven on earth. The 78 of the chariot through the ring of fire, the white Bengal tiger through the lion's mouth, creating the tie-on, which is also the tiger lioness connection. But it also reminded me of the Instagram post of the, the dog with their cat, the cat's head in their mouth, which was, of course, a, a term of endearment between them. The tiger-lioness connection, where the tiger remembers the T-I of source, the G-E of energy, and the R of er, the tiger. And the lion is the lion. So it comes up as source energy, er, rely on connection. We're at 525, which is the Hierophant and the quarter again of the Knight of Wands, 25. 25 is also the potion bottle. The present energy of the underlying energies here is addiction and financial issues, where the first card out is acceptance. That all happens for a reason, and this has to do with the present energies in the middle. Also for you to wait, the timing's not quite right, that you're on different pages, that you don't share the same vision at this moment. The future comes up as the underlying energy of the 18 and the eagle rising above the fray, which also references the outskirts or the peripheral vision. Then 60 and 64, which are the watchers and the woodwives, piggybacking and adapting to the totem tie-on of peace and bliss. Romance even, romancing the stone of 12 and 33, which can reference Jesus on the cross, but the dragon's hoard protecting the future, Pisces, Pisces jaunt or wise hanging out, the 33 standing up for the arts and unity consciousness at best. The baby dragon and the wild and crazy cat, which the baby dragon can also reference the seahorse here or Pegasus. And the wild and crazy cat were coming up as birthing a baby bumblebee and the cat can also be a feminine feline or feline. And then iron lion came up. And the bumble came up from Rudolph. And the bass player. Or painting wood instruments. All hands on deck. The iron lion. Uh, what came up was the iron lion Zion, which is Bob Marley. And I, I wasn't familiar with the song at all. But... As soon as Bob Marley came up, Marley and Marley from the Muppets came up, and I actually had them on my mantle, which is really funny. Um, Bob Marley's Iron Lion Zion come, came out September 7th, 92. Um, Iron Lion also came up online as a family-owned company of modern doors and windows. It's expensive, but if you're interested, you can check that out. It's from Fairview, Tennessee, which is really funny because I was born in Tennessee and I grew up on Fairview Road. And that company's outside Nashville. And right at that moment is when the second tremors came up at 5.59 today before 6. It was just about 30 seconds or so. It was very short. So 
The Cancer Eagle is watching over the peaceful Tyon or the Tiger Lioness connection totem. And now the woodwives work around the tree trunk, transmuting pain into bliss. Pegasus and that wild and crazy guy, as Steve Martin comes up, I had to look him up, of course, and there's a documentary coming up about Steve Martin and they're doing a tour. He's doing a tour with Martin Short. Um, the, they're call, it's called the Dukes of Funny Town Tour, May and June. And then we go into the one of the 55, the farther gate, and a bold step forward. The nine of the one who's dancing on one foot, or in other words, they're able to balance very well. The 34 of the lay of the land and ancestral wisdom. And the 49 of sky riding the fates, as we're in these cards here from the shaman dreams. The Ace of Swords and the Airlock of the Two Sons. The truth to the hermit, who then balances really well, is knocking on heaven's door. And again, this came up in my, in my um, vision that I had for you guys of someone finding their way in, right? And to something they're not supposed to be there. Knocking on heaven's door as the 34 is the energy of the um, back and forth energy of the king of the hill and getting to that point with the lay of the land, which is this energy here. Okay, I'll show you the other cards too here. I have these up. All right, so there's the farther gate and that bold step forward. And you see the two suns and there's two gates here with the airlock kind of energy here, like going into the bank. The one balancing on one foot, breaking in where they're not supposed to be. And then here's the lay of the land from the king of the hill, right? He's now able to see um, the crop circles or just able to see the seating plan <laughs> was coming up as well. And then we have the sky writing of the fates, 49, and then the Egypt pyramids here where this looked like a flag um, instead of a pyramid. And then I showed you the energies of the clouds before. So um, this energy of the, have, getting that top spot getting your wish or sky writing fates where triangles are coming together with some resistance from the left or the right, depending on your perspective or too close and they fall apart. But the digamma digamma waves or the twin flame energies figure it out in a figure eight with space between them. Tiptoeing through the tulips with tiny Tim, the hermit is the key to the double gate, double sun airlock. The vacuum sucked in and on top of the world, a view to a kill, windows on the world, perhaps viewing the eclipse or eclipse of E as the sun and moon come together for a magic eve from the eagle's perch at 360 degree vision or 180 degrees at least, or 60 degrees with um, obstructed vision the best view or seat as woodwives work around the totem being flexible and hoarding tie on or tiger lioness connection or twosome and getting in two for one with some magic at hand right hand that is and joyful muse that's inspiring and then the five five portal came up as well which is with the two sons God bless us everyone with the Muppets coming up again, Marley and Marley and the old men in the balcony and mantle, which again, the old men are sitting on my mantle piece right now. So, so then um, I looked up at my Marley and Marley to see what message they're supposed to give me here. And they look like they're in utter shock and disbelief. <laughs> They can't believe their eyes and they're trying to adjust them. Paralyzed in suspended animation as they fall into a slumber. The taller one who has more hair and dark eyes holds out his left hand. And then there's, um, there's a camera there too with, and it's labeled ring. So there's something about the ring right there. Or both look like zombies here as the blue light was going off and on, the dark-eyed Marley has an S chain and 
blue suede shoes. There's some kind of Elvis connection there. And the blue eyed shorter one that's more bald has a thinner chain and white shoes as the light went out again. So that is the messages that came up as I go into then the meditation I did for you guys prior to the video that remember that the quakes over here, I feel are a distraction from the, the Pacific Sea and what's actually going on over there under the sea. And there's some kind of airlock uh, eye door that opens into something that's a dome and that could be actually a station at the bottom of the sea. I don't know if it references one of the arcs at the bottom of the sea, but I want to pull one more card for you guys. Let's pull from Journey of Love and see if there's something I can read to you guys. That's the mother's reading to her children right here. Okay. And we have both the Empress and the Emperor. They're both reversed there. And so is the Hierophant over here. All the red coats. But the Justice is upright over here. Pisces upright, Aquarius reversed, Libra and Libra twice upright, Aries reversed here, and then Leo reversed, Taurus reversed here. And here's the Queen of Wands reversed, but I, the King of Wands didn't come up. We had the page and the knight, though. I don't know where the King of Wands, he's where's Waldo today, I guess. All right. For my viewers... What message would best help them right now? What message? There we go. And that's the cover of the deck. See? Self-initiation and the number 12, which is the hanging man. This card wants to be seen as well. There's a lot of red here. Heart fire. There's that, that Christ energy. Again, the yellow sun and the white sun coming through the rose heart. The one of the magician, the divine masculine. Their heart fire. And the bottom of the deck, again, is look at all this red, is that Shakti, which is the feminine fire, the 19 of the sun. So the feminine Shakti fire coming through the masculine, with the masculine fire together through self-initiation of the wise one in the vortex there, right? The vortex, the heart, that's a portal. They're all a portal. And that references a portal as well. And then this card wanted to come out as well here, the Christ flame. Okay, so there's that energy of the, the Christ light, the 31 of the chaos of life. 31 is also the five of wands. And here references the feminine and the masculine coming together in the heart. Okay. The feminine needing to self-initiate, the masculine needed to come into his feminine heart right, and let go of the chaos of his life and meet in the heart, okay? So we're going to read self-initiation. Which is number 12 and wisdom. 12, where are you? Okay, you are being touched by a wave of your own light and motion. Can you feel the blessings and love that are flowing towards you? from within you in an upsurging wave of love. This is your own pure divine nature. You can choose to empower another as the carrier of your own divinity, of course. And sometimes if you're not quite ready to recognize your own divine essence, this needs to be. Yet at any moment, you can choose to recognize that it is you who are initiating yourself into love, that you are the being of light, the divine, that is drawing you forward into yourself. At any moment, you can choose to recognize yourself. Will this be such a moment? This oracle holds a message for you. There are many teachers on this path, some humble, some wise, some great companions on your life journey, and some who will enter in and out of your life quickly, perhaps imparting a helpful word or teaching you a more challenging lesson about trusting and relying upon your own wisdom. The greatest teacher, however, is life itself. You can trust in your own experiences and know that it is the divine spark within you, the life within you, that is the one true teacher who carries you home in awakened reunion with the divine. And the poem simply states, how easy to love the words flow when it's right. 
I dare not tell you. So I guess there's your cliffhanger till the next time. Okay, remember your water, your rest, your joy, your nature. Rise and be love. I'll see you guys next time. Have a great night, guys.